All right, hit it. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, it hit 107. Okay, really fun episode today. What are we going to measure? Ford versus Chevy. Well, GMC. Ford versus GMC. Here's the idea, guys. We're going to do what we're going to call a sound off. Maybe this turns into a kind of sub-series. We're going to do different volume measurements of my truck, which is the GMC there in the background, versus this thing. I don't know what it is. It's What is this? Is this a truck? It's a truck. I think it's more like a Ranchero. It's not four-wheel drive. It's a poser truck. Uh, we're going to take different volume measurements of different aspects of the vehicles and compare them to each other. So I think what our idea so far is, what did we say? We're going to go uh, inside the truck, uh, cab closed, engine off. We're going to do inside the truck, cab closed, engine on. Uh, we'll do outside of the truck in front of radiator, we'll say a foot or so. Um, we'll go outside the exhaust and do about the same measurement of engine on for both trucks and then we'll have some fun with it and go maybe for a drive and see how yeah we'll do like a 60 or... 60 mile an hour sure. test and then you know. uh trevor has a sound system in his vehicle and we might have some fun with the with the sound system and see what kind of volume we can get the speakers subwoofer up to well, just for reference, we're gonna take a, a sample. Obviously there's background noise and things going on in the neighborhood, but we're gonna take a sound sample of just, like what's the volume outside of the truck right now in open space? We'll, we'll call it 50 dB. Low to mid 50 dB. Okay, <laughs> what does dB stand for? I think some of us it's, have... Well, it's the acronym for decibels. So that's your measurement of sound level. Okay, so outside of the truck, not running, kids in the neighborhood, trucks going by, mid 50s. Let's see. So now we'll say in the truck, not running. We'll see how, how, uh, how quiet the truck cab is. Nice, 30, it went down to 32.8. Okay, so mid 50s outside the truck, low 30s inside the truck. Let's turn our, let's turn the truck on. It touched 39, but it jumps back up to, let's say 40, low 40s. Let's see what 2,000 RPM sounds like. Okay. Forty-nine, high 40s. Okay. All right. Let's take her for a spin. Let's go. Gets a little stuffy in here without any AC. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is get the truck up to 60 mile an hour cruise speed and we'll take a volume measurement at 60 miles an hour. Almost. Okay, we're at 60 miles an hour. Call it 63.7. Is that turbo? Is that turbo? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it stacks up to the old silver bullet. Outside cab engine on. Idle speed. We need to get a tape measure out. Close enough. Call it 70.4. Okay. Let's do the exhaust. I'm gonna get 
Where's your exhaust? Fifty-nine ish. You know, it's funny. I was sitting here thinking about it. How it's quieter. Is that why they call it mufflers? <laughs> so now we're gonna do the same test with the GMC. Seat belt is uh, thirty-seven point <laughs> seven. Thirty-two point three. What was it in the Ford? I think it was thirty-three. Mm -hmm. I'm already not a fan of your Chevy, <laughs> your GMC. All right, we'll go AC off. So this is GMC idle. Thanks. I'm gonna call it 43.5. Obviously, we're, you know, you see the volume jump around, but you just kind of get an idea of what's kind of the, the bottom peak or bottom sort of general general average. Close close enough. We don't, no, no. Okay, now we're going to do GMC 60, 60 mile an hour cruise volume test. Sixty eight point six. Louder. I think I was sixty three and a half. Yeah, I, think, I think the Ranchero won that one. Okay, let's do a two thousand RPM stationary test. So get her up to two thousand RPMs. I don't think you can see that. There you oh, go. I can see. Okay, get her up. Caller 54.1, something like that. I don't remember mine. I don't either. It's all right. All right. Uh, we're going to do high. in front of the truck and exhaust. Yes. really about 71. All right, here's GMC exhaust volume measurement. It's about 77. It's louder. It's louder. You not it's have got a, that B8. You don't have a muffler? <laughs> you don't have a real motor in your Ranchero? Okay. Let's it's a thick. Let's do uh let's let's do the horn. Let's okay. See how loud the horns are. I mean let so lay on it for don't Are you ready? Alright, hit it. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, it hit a hundred and seven. 
I mean, it might have gone higher, but I looked down. I was at 107. That was our, that was our first hundred. We broke 100. In, in golf, you want to break 100, go the other way, though. Okay, forward horn. Oh my gosh. Just start with a piece. Forward horn, here we go. All right, hit it. It hit 110 something. I got a louder horn. Dang, Ford wins the horn category. Okay, so now let's play with the uh, sound system. Pull up like a, a uh, bass test thing. Cause if we have a song, it might not, it might get blocked. All right, bass, bass test, take one. This is, this is no bass on the bass test. Just straight. About three quarters away. C scale which is has a little bit wider range than the A scale I'll explain later it goes to 116 this is 40 Hertz at half it's not even my voice is kind of <laughs> makes your voice sound funny holy cow Let's uh, let's measure how loud it is outside of the truck. Same same thing. Go back to the same volume level, and I'll measure it outside of the truck. Okay. I'm gonna leave it on the C scale reading. I'm about a foot away from the vehicle. And we'll see what if it, it's able to register. to a hundred decibels it went to 100.5 from outside that's pretty dang that's good. pretty good so I'll explain in a in a later episode the difference between the a scale and C scale the basic premise is the a scale measurement is more depictive of the we'll call it audiometric response of the human ear and the C scale is not that it's much more linear and it's a broader range of frequencies uh, so it'll tend to pick up lower frequencies and even some higher frequencies and read them at a higher level so the readings on the decibel meter change we're doing this base test with the truck and it's a 40 hertz test out of the sub and so the a scale is going to tend to not not register it so loud uh, but when you switch to the c scale that has a much we'll call it much better response uh, in the lower frequencies. That's how we get got such a high reading. Went from 86 to 115, 117 when we switched from the A scale to the C scale. It's a more specific scale for the... 
space that we're yeah measuring. for the particular test that yeah. we're doing yeah it's probably the scale i need to look this up but it's probably the scale that they use when they actually have like sound competitions yeah that would make sense whereas a scale would be used more in like a hearing aid test booth measurement yeah. for calibration that was cool that was cool so uh we'll put up the final results uh, we'll post a final results graph on who won ford versus gmc sound off uh, i think that the ford is going to come out the winner just if i remember the measurements we had okay are you looking at it from a quiet standpoint or a loud standpoint well I, yeah I, so we're saying so we're saying trophy goes to the to the, the lowest quiet. the most quiet yeah. the who wins the most categories of quiet quiet volume but we'll see i'm excited i'm excited so thanks for watching like subscribe comment we'll see you next episode thanks